Hey, how's it going everybody? Drew Creel here. Today I'm going to show you how to make five fantastic blues guitar tones with your Yamaha THR2 series. Stick around because you're not going to want to miss this. This video is brought to you by Truefire, the best place on the internet for high level instructional guitar video content. Browse through literally hundreds of fantastic guitar courses by some of the biggest names in the guitar world. No matter what style of guitar playing you're interested in, you're sure to find a high quality video course at Truefire that suits your needs. My personal two favorite courses are Tim Miller's Creative Arpeggio Design and Pat Martino's nature of guitar. I learned a ton of valuable information from those two courses, and I'm certain that you'll find something here at Truefire that will launch your guitar playing to the next level. Click the link in the description below for a discount on your first Truefire video course. Now let's get back to the video. All right, you guys, here we are with my Yamaha THR30 wireless. Um, this is kind of the big boy version of the amp, but there are two other versions, the THR10, which is kind of like the base model. It's very lightweight because it doesn't have the uh, rechargeable lithium battery in the back or the, the wireless capabilities. And then there's a 10 version of that, which is actually 20 watts, and that one does have the uh, wireless uh, option and then the rechargeable battery but this one is the, the 30 watt version. And if your amp looks like this, you're gonna be in, in, in good shape here. We're gonna be able to make all of those fantastic blues tones if you have one of these amps. So there are actually three different ways to edit the tones on this amp. The first way is to download the THR control app for your cell phone, okay? Um, it, they have it for Android or Mac, it, to, it works all the same or you can uh, get your, your tablet out. Maybe you've got an iPad, I've got an iPad here. Um, but I like the iPad actually the best because it works on the fly. I can just connect via Bluetooth and all of the controls and parameters are really big and I can rotate the screen and it works super, super well. Um, but the way that I'm gonna be using in this video to edit the Yamaha THR tones is I'm just gonna plug in via USB on the back straight into my PC. I'm gonna pull up um, this, this uh, app called the Yamaha THR Remote App. It looks and functions exactly like the THR Control App. It's just um, for your PC. So what you're gonna to wanna to do first is get one of those apps on a device and then we'll get started. So I'll see you at my computer desk here in just a moment. All right, you guys, here we are at my recording desk and I've got my THR plugged into my PC. I'm using my Kiesel Vader VM8 for the guitar. It's just very comfortable and easy to play when I'm recording videos. Um, it also just kind of sounds great for any style. So I'm gonna be playing this guitar today. Um, and we're just gonna get started right away with uh, our blues, our first blues tone of the day. So. The first one that we're gonna that we're gonna make is gonna use this classic setting here, okay? And right away you can see I've got nice sparkly clean sound. Um, it's it's got a decent amount of gain. Of course, I can turn that up a little bit more from there. For those of you that like to kind of roll off the volume uh, for clean, add volume. Uh, for, for solos and things like that, that would be a good uh, way to go. But the first blues tone that we're going to make is just just a cranked amp kind of sounding uh, clean, clean guitar sound. So, and if you want to crank the amp even more from there, you can turn the compressor on and you can really push the amp a little bit more with that. I'm actually going to switch to like middle position here. Um, more um, of that. 
we've got you know the gain cranked so you can you can always roll back on that a little bit So it just sounds like an amp that's being pushed, you know, to all the way to break up. Um, and then, of course, you can always check out like the the, the boutique uh, amp model. It just it seems to cut a lot of the bass on there and make the 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 tone a lot more focused sounding for this. the way that sounds um. okay cool I really like that let's try a different cabinet um. Nice. Uh, let's try a 212. Man, that, that single 12 sounds a lot more just alive. Let's, let's roll with that and then what I want to do next is add like a, a nice like slap back echo to that um. I'm using the second position on my Kiesel there, and it's just got that really slappy kind of sound. So that is going to be our first blues tone there. We'll call that Blues 1, and let's get on to the next one. And by the way, I forgot to mention, if you want to save your, your blues tone, uh, what you want to do is click these, these three little guitars over here, and then we'll save that to preset 1, and then we can always come back to that and tweak it some more. What I'm going to do next is click on the second uh, preset here, and I've actually got a blues clean guitar tone already loaded in here. And let's check out what this sounds like. We may add some more gain to this one. Um, and I've got like, you know, quite a bit of reverb on there. Uh, this one actually would be cool for like, um, for like country clean. Like, uh, <laughs> let me see if I can. on my Travis picking it's <laughs> struggling a little bit there um, so yeah I, I really like that tone it's very similar to the one we were just playing but let's let's kick it up a notch into the crunch mode here okay and for some reason it, it, it almost seems like it has less gain than when we had the clean okay it's because I didn't make the adjustment yet
I, I I saw a lot of people when this amp first came out say that they didn't like the way that the crunch sounded, but the crunch is like one of my favorite tones on this on this amp. Um, uh, I'm gonna just use the compressor, push that, com kind of drive the amp even harder uh, using the compressor. Um, but like I said, let's let's try some of these other speaker cabinets. Let's try. That sounds really bad. Um, I don't want to stop playing. It just sounds it sounds so cool. Now, the one modulation effect that I would uh, recommend using for blue stuff is like a tremolo. Like Man, I'm not crazy about how that sounds. digital delay as well. That's like super spaced out if you're trying to <clears throat> get kind of psychedelic with your your blues tones. Yeah, that one that one's really cool. So, just taking it from that clean pushed amp sound and then kicking it up a notch with that crunch on this uh this boutique setting. I think you can get some really fantastic results with uh with the yamaha thr it's a really great sounding amp um let's move on to tone number three here we go okay so tone number three um right now it says modern clean um and here's what that sounds like and i've got this tone featured in another um video that i'm putting out it's called five amazing clean tones for your yamaha thr you can check that one out um but let's get back to the blues sounds that we're trying to make today. So this is going to be blues number three. And for this one, I want to go back to the classic and check out the crunch there. And um, we'll kind of build a tone off of that. really like the classic on this on this amp it's almost my favorite i almost like it way more than the boutique and the modern um and i think those are kind of like the legacy uh thr tones or is this classic okay real boxy sounding um let's see here <clears throat> Yeah, I'm I'm digging this big time. That's a cool tone. It's amazing how vintagey these sound. If that's if that's a real word, vintagey. Um, and then you can you can mess with the compressor. I just kind of feel like that's making it sound worse, man. Kind of makes it sound fizzy almost. 
crank the mids on this one and see what that sounds like. Uh. Okay, and don't forget you got tap tempo here as well. I'm really enjoying the way that that sounds. The American 410, uh, which is probably like a Fender, uh, a Fender 410 style speaker. Um, you know, it reminds me of like one of those uh, 410, 4x10 basemen, like black faced Fender amps almost. It's like turned all the way up. Um, and then, uh, you know, for something like this, I would probably go with like a spring reverb and just put it on just a little. Um, you can add a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, well, let's save that one. And you guys probably know how to do that at this point. Boom, just like that. Okay, let's move on to uh, tone number four. Here we go. Okay, so for this guitar tone, I want to mess around with uh, the modern sounds. And we'll probably stick with like modern crunch and use maybe like a 1x12. We'll try this 1x12 uh, boutique cabinet here. And let me, that's that's nice. That, that reminds me of, uh, that reminds me of like a Brian Setzer tone, if that makes any sense. If I can imagine myself playing like a Gretsch White Falcon. Very jazzy sounding. I'm going to I'm going to turn the bass up and get the mids back down a little bit and then I'm going to roll off the highs. We're going to try to make this 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 really jazzy sounding um sounding blues. played guitar better than that before but um uh it, this is i'm just having fun here um with these tones and i realized my volume knob wasn't even wasn't even up all the way i think i think i rolled it back at some point so i guess i did not expect to make like a like a sort of pushed jazz guitar tone 
and it kind of cleans up a little bit. kind of cleans up a little bit uh when you turn the compressor on let's let's cr like let's crank the compressor it, it almost turns into like a fusion tone What am I trying to play, man? All right, that was a uh, you know little C major seven sharp five arpeggio. Fun stuff here. Uh, let's let's see what chorus sounds like on that. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Uh, you could probably use this for like funk too. Um, like rolling off the sec, we'll go second position. I really like that. That's going to be awesome for uh, for tone number four. We'll call this blues. Uh, uh, we'll call it jazz blues funk four. Okay, and we'll save it in preset four like that. Okay, really cool. So look, we've got one, two, three, four awesome tones. Let's make a fifth and final tone. Let's just make it scream. All right, here we are, our fifth and final tone. I want to do something like high, really high gain, but still true to the blues. So I'm going to go back to classic here, and then I'm going to go to the lead setting. And I'm going to turn all of this, all of this other stuff off here and try to just start at 50% with everything or close, close to it, right? And let's just see what that sounds like. <laughs> Still in second position on my guitar, so there might be some some buzziness. So I'm gonna put that noise gate on. Um, We know the THR2 has more firepower than that. Let's kick it up to high gain here. American 412 sounds great on that. That might be my favorite cabinet. 
Let's kick it up to special and see what happens up there. And of course, the speaker cabinet changes. <laughs> It seems like there's less gain on special for for that for this high gain setting. That's kind of for metal. That's probably like a, a rectifier cabinet or something. get like a long delay on that that sounds very nice we'll turn it up a little bit and we're let's go digital delay for once just to keep it 80s and old school um we'll add some bass long feed all right that's too much we'll turn the mix down go that's uh gonna be tone number five we'll call that shred riffs special three because i already have a special two <laughs> on another one of these tone videos that i've made um and there we go we've got five awesome blues tones um down here let's let's just really quick listen back to all of the different ones that we made i'll, I'll try them all in second position so <laughs> Of course, uh, that one was a lot louder than some of these other ones. That sounds awesome, digging that. Oh man, where did we get all of that, uh, that delay on there? Maybe we forgot to save that one. That one sounds a little, a little rough there. Okay, and let's try number three. I think we've got to do some volume adjusting on these as well. Um, cool. Number four was our jazz blues funk. Okay, and then our last one was just our screaming. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think we've got five awesome tones. Thank you guys so much for checking out my five fantastic blues tones that you can make with the Yamaha THR. I had a great time putting this together. I think I made some tones that I've never made before with this amp, and that's kind of why I like making these videos. It kind of forces me to get into that space of you know tone sculpting and tone creation. And um, hopefully you were able to get a new perspective on how to use your Yamaha THR and you know just kind of play around with it, get inspired in a new way. And um, if you uh, have any suggestions on future videos or, or comments or anything related to what we talked about in this video today, um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great, fantastic day wherever you're at. Take care. <laughs>